This is my city, Dallas, Texas, and this is me, Will. And you see, Dallas, Texas has a sprawling urban landscape. It goes on for miles and miles, and sometimes, to try to escape the concrete jungle, I like to go for a little run on some nature trails. And one of my favorite places to run is White Rock Lake. This lake has over a thousand acres of water. And one day on a run, I couldn't help but think, where does all of this water come from? Where does White Rock Lake start? So one day I just stumbled across a boat and I decided why not go and find out. Every morning on my morning run, I run through these neighborhoods and today I found this thing. It is a eight foot long mascot boat. Oh yeah, this thing is solid. We're gonna Oh my gosh, good morning. Okay, wow, as you can see, the boat is in the back of the truck and we're gonna need to make a paddle before we go float down. I don't have a paddle for the boat and I've never made one and I don't wanna just go buy one, right? So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go buy wood to make a paddle uh, and probably just some cheap wood. I wanna keep this just super cheap. Just, I feel like that's just part of the adventure is just doing it as cheap as possible and just making it as fun as possible and that's part of making the pat paddle is just part of the fun of it right just the adventure of it is i've never made one and it's always an adventure just to create something and make something that didn't exist before you put the work into it and that's what we're going to do we're going to create something today all right we've got the paddle made it's not a pretty paddle i'll tell you that it's just Cheap wood, I didn't even oil it, it's already scratched up, but it's gonna work. It's a junk paddle, but it's gonna do its job, I think. So here is what we're doing. I got my buddy Zach to join me. This is me, by the way. And we're gonna start right here at this little circle I drew, Harry S. Moss Park. Some soccer fields, and we're just gonna follow this blue line all the way down to White Rock Lake. I don't really know how far it is, I think it's probably five or six miles. I don't know how long it takes. I don't know if there's enough water. I don't know what we're gonna do on the boat trip. I don't know if it's private or public property to go through there. I really don't know, but it's gonna be an adventure and that's what we kind of want. And so I just cleaned the boat out, washed it out a little bit because it does get leaves in it. And I'm gonna go meet up with Zach right now and we're gonna get going. All right, we are on our way. Allie, my wife, is going to be the one that is dropping us off. Allie, why are you letting me do this? Do you I told Will, and if you know Will, you know he's a dreamer. Now that we're married, I have decided to make Will's dreams my dreams also. This is the first time I've sat in the boat. Zach's not even here yet. It's a lot smaller than I thought it'd be. I don't know exactly how we're both gonna fit on this for two or three hours, but that's part of the adventure, right? This is where we're getting in. We just gotta wait for Zach now. So we'll bring the boat and it's kind of trashy, kind of pretty. We're like right in the middle of the city, just to give you all the idea of where we're at. There's buildings right next to us, but pretty day, 70 degrees, sunny. Perfect. Alrighty, we are off. Our wives are right there on that little bluff. They left us behind. Zach, how are we doing back there? We're doing good. <laughs> Zach is gonna be our faithful rower for now. That's right. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're moving. I thought we were gonna sink. Really? Not sink, but it would be too heavy. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but there's, I mean, it's plenty of water. We got some shallow spots. I know, right here would be pretty deep. Every kind of stuff you can imagine. Yeah, this would just not be the place to sink. Zach is faithfully rowing. We only have one paddle. I'm this... not even rowing anymore, I'm just moving. <laughs> this is just nasty. All right, I think we're probably a third of the way there. Yeah. Um, what do you think gone a mile and a half? About a mile and a half, I'd say. It's a, it's slow going. Here's the steed. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was now that we're in it, but we fit well. We've got that all set up. Zach, yep. why'd you do this, Zach? 
I just believe in Will McElroy. <laughs> and if he says we're going, we're going. And I'm, yeah. I'll be there with him. <laughs> this is gonna be close. <sighs> is she moving? Goodness, well. Do we go back or? We could go back. I don't think that's moving. That thing did yeah, not feel like back. it was. Never accept defeat. Except when we there's a branch. Defeat? Are we doing it? That won't move. Well, <laughs> I don't think we can get through. Yeah, we got to go back. Look how much water are we taking on up there? We're sitting in a lot of water. We, we've just got to stop, guys. We are taking in a lot of water. The debate right now is whether or not we're going to make it to White Rock. It is just, it's just getting dark. We're Not losing really. daylight. I know in the video right now it's a beautiful evening, which it is. Sun's still up. But we are in, we're in the valley right now. <laughs> it's, we've had a couple rough stops. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Find me a prettier spot in Dallas, Texas. It's starting to get darker. There, that street right there was our kind of our last bailout spot and Zach and I decided to ride past it we're, we're gaining a lot of water really we, we really are the boats getting heavy we're we're in the valley all right one of the one of the life lessons Zach and I we're learning from this is it's never as bad as it looks there's, there's no, no way there's no way through this but I'm telling you guys there's there's always there's always a way as they say where there's a will there's, all, there's a way. And there's we a do way have we're a... navigating the, the headwaters. <laughs> oh, gosh. Look at that. See? We're right through the storm right there. There's always a way, folks. There's always a way. Update from the back of the boat. We got my man Will faithfully paddling. I think a lot of people overlook things in life. Some people... A lot of people drive over this very river every single day and they say to themselves, goodness, what a nasty river full of my own sewage, my own drainage. But then there's other people like Will McElroy, finds a boat, finds some, some water that flows, says no, that's an adventure waiting to happen. The sun is setting. It's it's pretty dark. We're we're struggling. Zach, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm uh, cold, I'm wet, I'm tired. But it's the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Zach and I, we've we've laid eyes on land, on the promised land. That's where we're getting off, right there. It's been a good day. Here's our exit. William Wilson, give him a good tour of the boat. That's yeah, so this is uh, taking on water. This is the front, this is the back, and <laughs> it's mostly water at this point, but dude, we're going under. Oh gosh. All right, we got we to gotta get that thing out. Oh, Will! Will! <laughs> Just right at that tree. All right, Zachary. Hi. Wilson. It, it's been, we've been beat. We've been beat. I'm, I'm. Freezing. We'll it's come cold. Back for it. we're, we're cold out here. It's dark. Getting Howdy. dark. Howdy. We've got our our, rescue our steed. What's your fit? You're expecting a little more support from the old foundation group. This is Zach's wife, by the way. Why? Why did you let Zach do this? Because it was fun to see him ignite his sense of adventure. Yeah. Were you worried? Um, no, nah, I knew he figured it out. Yeah. And unless it, it started getting dark, got a little worried, but yeah. I knew y'all make it out.
we are. I'm back at White Rock Creek about a week later. And I'm just trying to get some closure for this little video. And I find myself just replaying the events in my head and thinking, really nothing crazy happened that Zach and I did. There was no huge climax or anything terrible that happened or exciting really that happened. We were just two dudes floating in a boat down a nasty creek. And I think that's what's beautiful about it is that here's a nasty creek that a million, a million people may drive over every day. And we decided just to hop in a boat and float down it in our own backyard. You really don't need to go to the mountains or to the beach to find an adventure. It all happens in your own backyard. <laughs>